Hello, I am Dr. Bhaskar Shane, Consultant Pediatrician, Manipal North Surat Hospital, Malayshwaram, Bangalore. I am today here to discuss about various aspects of third wave of COVID-19. The media, the experts have predicted that third wave is going to come in few weeks time or few months time. We really don't know whether it is definitely come, but looking at the pattern of the pandemics before, it is likely to come. But they have predicted that it is going to be more severe in children and more complicated in children. And it affects only children, but that may not be totally true. It may affect not only children, even the adults also. And looking at the pattern before, children are affected, but they never had a severe complication, nor the death rate was high, nor the admissions were more. So need for oxygen, need for admission, need for ICU care, need of a pattern of complications were totally different from adults. They never needed all these things. So having said that, the next wave which is likely to come may not have a very severe form in children, but it is our duty to be prepared. Prevention is always better than cure. So we better take appropriate precautions so that even if the third wave hits, we have to be prepared. So how do we do that? The basic SMS sanitization, masking, social distancing. These three things we have to follow. Now only you start training the children about these three things. So use proper use of mask, hand washing and sanitization after touching anything and maintaining a distance of six feet from other individuals. This from now onwards if you train them they will get used to that so that when the pandemic comes or the third wave comes, it becomes a routine for them. The second thing is you get vaccinated yourself. That means parents and elders in the family should get the vaccination against COVID-19 so that you are protected and from there is less chance of you infecting the children. And all the adult members in the family, elders, should be vaccinated. Those who have fever, cough and other symptoms should be isolated from the child. Similarly, if the child gets fever and cough or other symptoms, isolate from others so that it doesn't spread to the other members in the family, especially the elders, especially those who have some basic underlying complications like diabetes, blood pressure, asthma, etc. Once the child gets fever, don't get panic. Don't keep on giving lot of medications. No need for antibiotics. No need for uh, medicines like methanamic acid, ibuprofen, etc. When the child gets fever, just to give paracetamol. And as and when required, you give paracetamol. And wet mopping whole body, head to toe for 20 minutes would definitely reduce the temperature in a more natural and simple way. Don't go for antibiotics also. Antibiotics are not indicated for children, especially during for COVID. Because COVID is a viral infection, antibiotic doesn't work against virus. Give good nutritious food, fruits, raw vegetables which can be eaten as salads and a green leaf vegetables and plenty of juices, fresh fruit juices, soups would definitely improve the health. There is no immune boosters uh, in available, but you can give vitamin C and zinc just to have a, uh, some kind of benefit. If vaccine has not yet been available for children till date, the vaccines are under trial. Probably in about six to eight months time, we may get the vaccine for children below 18 years. And if at all it is available, we have to get the vaccine for children so that they are pro protected against the deadly COVID-19. So 
In conclusion, what I am trying to tell you is that the third wave, even if it comes, it may not hit the children badly. Even if it comes, let us be prepared for that. There is no need to panic. Let us be prepared. Let us take appropriate preventive measures now itself so that even if the third wave hits, let us fight that deadly virus effectively, strongly and unitedly. Thank you very much.